Uh, we'll, we'll get to some news in just a second. First, let's talk to coaches, Coach Clint Lake. Congratulations, man, 2-0. Oh. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. I have your autograph. <laughs> Jeff, what happened to you guys the other night, man? I know you didn't expect to be 0-2, but you just had some bad luck. Well, not any, not really bad luck. We're still uh, trying to improve. Um, we're young defensively, and we play two good football teams. And we improved a little bit offensively last week, but defensively, we still got a lot of work to do. All right. And, Coach, I know you got Zach up there, but, I mean, uh, <laughs> Zach and Zeke, here's two for you. Zeke was telling us how he owns the scoreboard, and he ain't got his name on it. Yeah, it does. It's got pizza in from one side. There it is. Yeah. Now, this is your home opener. Yes, sir. Now, how do you feel about that? You excited? Oh, well, we're excited. I mean, we're just the opposite. I'm not taking nothing away from Elkmont or Butler, but North Jackson's a whole lot better you know, athletes, and it's going to be a challenge. But, but you know, we want to see how good we are. Well, I heard a lot of good things about you. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. two and zero. I mean, that's good for Ardmore. When's the last time they started two and zero? Uh, we were two and zero last year. Uh oh. <laughs> then what happened? Don't say that. Then, then, uh, <laughs> then we go and ask that one. question. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want that one. Yeah. But we go to North Jackson and play scared. Mm -hmm. And I've challenged our kids all week. You gonna play scared again? And I hope they know the. Well, they're not gonna play scared. I hope probably not. Uh, Coach Pete, what do you want to say about the Cullman game? It turned out the, everybody played yeah. back the way they've been done. I, I just, uh, you know, I've challenged our team to try to get better every week. With our schedule, if we don't, uh, it's going to be a long year. And, um, you know, if we improve from week to week, you know, we've got a stretch run coming with, with Athens, Muscle Shoals, and Hartsville down the, down the stretch there. Well, you, you don't know, get no easier for you. Well, no, it doesn't. But, you know, with Russellville this week, if we can just, uh, you know, Finish one game and win one, you know, get, get a region game. This is your season belt. opener. Yeah, it's, our season, it's our home opener. Home opener. You know, our, season, we, yeah. We've got good kids, but they've got to learn. You, know, you, can't, be, you can't be nice or in, play intimidated on the football field. Um, so, you know, we got better this week in practice. You know, that, that's a plus for us, and we're just trying to take it one step at a time on getting better from week to week. All right. Coach Legg, what do you see for the rest of your season? Uh, we're, we're going one game at a time. We, we're hoping we're going to win. Friday night, we're ready and season old. Be a bunch of people there to see what we're all about and see how much we've improved. We worked pretty hard this week. We've took you got a strong practice. fan base up there, and so do you, Jeff, over the east. Mm -hmm. All right, let's switch up and talk a little bit about Bama. Anything to these rumors about Fluker? You think? Probably he is, but uh, they're going to have to have a paper trail, and you're going through another individual. I mean, you know, what's it going to be? I mean, I don't understand how they're going to be able to tie it into an agent when he got it from another kid. So it's, this could be a long, grown out yeah, thing. Yeah, it could be and, a long and the, Coming up now, all right, let's get to the game here. How bad do you think Oregon will beat Tennessee? Hey, hold on one second. <laughs> hold on one second. If Cam Newton didn't get in no trouble, I can fluker you. I yeah. can't believe you just said that I told him that this morning. You've seen the picture. You've seen the picture we got a fluker, don't you? Uh, everyone yeah, I see. has. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, that's a good picture. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean don't to interrupt brag. you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's all right. That's me in the white shirt. Yeah. In the white shirt. Wow, what a monster. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who that girl is. All right, Brad. Is. All right. <laughs> Let's do the Alabama, I mean, Alabama, Texas A&M game. Jeff, you just gave your prediction. Yeah, already, already you think close. it's going to be close? I think it's going to be a close game. I, I think it's going to come down to a couple of key stops by Alabama's defense stopping that guy. I think Alabama scored three or four times. It, uh, it's going to be a tough, hard fight. Most football. commentators and people I've heard are saying that they don't think it'll be close. 34, 30. Four to 14, Alabama. That's kind of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for coming up. Good luck. Thank y'all for being here every Thursday because y'all are super informative. Tell Dennis I said hello. Give him a shout-out this morning. <laughs> I know y'all probably need to go. Let me do a little bit of news here. Thanks for coming up, boys. We'll yes, see y'all next week. Right. Y'all want some pizza? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, let me do a little bit of news. Co uh, I thought I'd say Coach Blakely, but don't get Sheriff Blakely will be with us this Friday, I mean, uh, next Tuesday. They got 58 pounds of pot worth uh, $58,000. That's in the news courier this morning. Sheriff Blakely will be with us with George Wallace's daughter coming up this Tuesday. Limestone budget includes 3% pay hikes. That Limestone County Commission said to give employees a three cent raise when it approves its final budget. And yesterday, I told you, we were down to 911 thing, or Patriot Day, where I had an accident.
fell. <laughs> Lucky it didn't bust the camera. Didn't get skin up too bad. Got to give a shout out to my buddy Joy Boyd and Sandy this morning. That's Coming right. to my rescue if I needed anything. And I'll be over in Decatur today shooting a new commercial. Me and Brad will around noon with Furniture Outlet. You want to get some furniture, that's the place to go over there right behind Target. Three new restaurants located in downtown Decatur. Decatur, I'm telling you right now, they're hotter than a firecracker. They over are. There. A lot going on. And coming up this weekend, UNA will face Jacksonville State after 10 years. And the other big news is, going on in the sports, some sportscasters now aren't mentioning Redskins, as they say, Washington Redskins, because it's offensive to Native Americans. Really? Yeah, it's a big thing. A lot. This lady here is going to quit using it. Uh, one of the Peter King, one of the Sports Illustrated people, says he's not going to use Redskins anymore. What isn't offensive anymore? Well, who knows? All right, right now let's go out on this uh, Thursday morning. We're going to go out with Roadrunner beat beat Danny <laughs> Johnson today. Danny, I think goes with a game board. We'll see y'all bright and early. All we got right. a packed house tomorrow too. Y'all, hang on. Bye bye. I'm down here at uh, Harris Station, uh, Game Warden Station, with uh, our two uh, Alabama Game Wardens, uh, Wendell Fox and uh, Travis Gray. We've had some changes come up uh, this year with our hunting processes and, and uh, checking deer in and things, and they're going to kind of touch on base, uh, give us a brief overview about that. Uh, Wendell, what about the, the check-in deal? How has that changed? Well, now we're taking it a step further. We're still requiring the harvest record be filled out by each hunter. But along with that harvest record, we're going to take it one more step, and you have to call and get a confirmation number once you harvest a buck, a doe, or a turkey. So uh, once, you, once you harvest that animal, you have 24 hours after you record it on your harvest record to uh, call and get a confirmation number. You can either call, go online to our website, OutdoorAlabama.com, to retrieve that information, or download the uh, app for your smartphone. So probably the app or the smartphone or the computer will be the easiest way to get your number. That will be the easiest way to uh, to get that number and probably the most convenient for uh, our hunters. And all this is going to do is give the people more data on deer across the state and, and hopefully help the deer population to be managed and also help the hunters. So if we all report what we got, it's a good tool to manage the deer, right? Exactly, and, and, and that is what it's about. Uh, most folks think that, you know, we're being... Uh, uh, trying to find another way to write people tickets, and that's not what it's about. It's for uh, managing our herd for future generations, uh, our deer and our turkey population. And uh, it's going to be a good tool, and the, the, the cool thing about it is you as the hunter can go online and access the same information and see what's been harvested in our county. So it's just a good snapshot of what's going on. Another thing has changed, too. This year you can only take one doe per day, right, and during doe season? Exactly. Uh, deer. We have, uh, and we encourage folks to go online uh, to our website, OutdoorAlabama.com, for whatever area you're hunting in to see what the restricted doe harvest is. And in Limestone County, the entire county, we're going to uh, one doe per day. Uh, you feel like the deer herd in Limestone is still strong, though? we still got plenty of deer? We feel like our herd is very healthy, and that's one reason we want to go to a game check system is so we can better manage our deer so that we are uh, making the right decisions on our harvest. Yeah, I know I've seen some fawns this year already, like two, two fawns, one doe, so uh, we should have a good population of fawns, I think. Another thing is changed is the uh, supplement feeding, so touch on that briefly for us. Okay, what, what we have done, uh, it's still illegal to uh, bait game animals in the state of Alabama. And what they have done is a defined area for when we're hunting deer and feral swine. Uh, this does not... Uh, include turkey. Still, you can't supplemental feed during turkey season. But for our deer and for feral swine, uh, the, the definition of area is 100 yards from the hunter and out of the line of sight 
by uh, natural vegetation or uh, terrain. So basically the feed station has got to be out of your sight and uh, you're not going to be able to sit there and look at it or shoot a deer around it. So it's got to be at least 100 yards in behind something. Out and of behind sight. something vegetation, out of sight. Natural vegetation. And the way, the way we're looking at that, you know, if it's creating a lure or enticement to that, to that feeder or to that bait site, it is considered illegal and it is a uh, illegal baiting site. Okay. Uh, Travis, uh, I was going to ask you about it now. Also, they like going to allow uh, air rifles to be used for deer hunting, right? Yes, sir. This year they are allowing air rifles to be used for deer hunting. It's got to be 30 caliber or larger, um, but they are a legal means of taking a deer this year. Okay. Uh, that's the first time I've ever heard of that, you know, the air rifles. I didn't know they made an air rifle about, that powerful. A lot bigger than the Red Riders I used. Yeah, to yeah. <laughs> so it's got to be at least a 30 caliber yes, or larger. 30 caliber. Know. Okay, so I guess with technology, they've got that available now. And also, Wheeler Lake, we still have our 15-inch smallmouth limit in pose, right? Yes, sir, that's correct. Or nine inch on crappie. Yes, sir, that's correct. You know, so, so we do have change, and we want to pass those along, to, you know, to the folks out there, and hopefully, you know, don't get to what we violate any of our laws in any way. Uh, but I appreciate y'all spending a little time with me, and uh, hopefully, we can spread the news and uh, make this simple as possible. You know, and thank you, Wendell, for thank your you, time Danny. and inviting appreciate me down. It. And uh, We'll we'll come back and try to stay on top of anything as it changes. Thanks, sir. Roadrunner out. It. When you wake up in the morning, you know this where it's at. Everybody says he's a real gun cat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, later.